of uh, string length uh, L and it has some uh, mass and it has some charge. So due to mass, it will have a force of uh, gravity, right? And due to yes, this sir. charge, this charge is placed in this external electric field. So this would be the uh, electrostatic force. So we have two forces acting. One is uh, mg and the other one is this qp, right? Right, uh, Tarif? Yes, sir, right. So then resultant uh, would be in this direction, right? From the parallel ground's law, resultant would be in this direction. Yes, sir. So F net uh, would be how much? F net uh, would be QE, let's say this is in I hat direction, and uh, this is minus uh, MG J hat direction. This is the F net, right? Yes, sir. So if we calculate uh, the magnitude, so magnitude is root of QE square, or let me write it as uh, MG first, right? So MG square and then QE square, right? And, yes, and from the Newton's uh, second law, what do we know? We know that uh, force is mass into acceleration. This uh, is mg and uh, square plus qe square, right? And then we take this m in the right hand side. So we get this is mg. So this is uh, mg whole square and this is one by m. And I told you guys uh, earlier that if we take this m inside, so this would be m square, right? Inside the root. Yes, sir. So acceleration would be root of uh, m square g square divided by m square, and then q square g square divided by m square. So m square m square cancel and a is root uh, of g square plus uh, q square g square by m square. And <coughs> we know that in free space, in free space, uh, this is your pendulum. And if you rotate this play pendulum, right? If you place this play pendulum here, and it, if you uh, drop this pendulum, right? If you leave this pendulum, then it will come here, it will come here, and then it will uh, show a simple harmonic motion. So if we have this simple harmonic motion, so time period of oscillation, we know that this is uh, root L by G, right? Because uh, we have only gravity which is uh, acting, right? So now, but we have this uh, resultant force. So now we have this uh, resultant uh, G effect. Right, so this is root L by G effective, and G effective you have calculated. So this would be time period would be simply L divided by this is root of uh, Q E by M whole square and then R. So this was the answer, right? Any doubt in this uh, question? This we have uh, done, right? Yes, Tarif and Chavez, do you guys have any doubt in this part? No, sir, it's clear now. Because, uh, yeah, so we calculated the effective force. Sir, but I have no doubt. Like, can you take M outside because it will be common, right? Uh, where is M common? Uh, no, sir, before we uh, cancelled M square, like, could we have taken M common? Yeah, oh, okay, we can also take it out uh, common, right? So this uh, can so, be the, yeah. So from here, what we do is that I just uh, took this M inside, but you can also, so this is uh, one by M, and you take M square form. 
So m square is common, then this is g square plus q square a square by m square, right? And then you take it, uh, if you take m square for, to, to the outside of root, so you will get m, right? So this would be g square plus uh, qp by m square, right? So this is also, this way you can also get this problem. Yes, correct. Yeah, so, okay, understood, uh, sorry. Yes, uh, Tari, understood. This is what you were saying, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so now uh, let us move on to the... So, in the previous uh, class, what we did, we had an uncharged capacitor, then we charged it, and then we found out that what is the heat dissipated, right? And then what was the uh, work done and uh, all the things. Now the next topic is, uh, okay, so next one. Okay, so now the next topic is uh, sharing of capacity. Okay, or uh, conduct. So uh, what do we have? Uh, we have some initial condition. So initially, initially we have our two charged capacitors. So we have this capacitor. and it has a capacitance C1 and it has a voltage V1 because it is charged, right? And then we have another uh, capacitor, which is also charged. So it has, uh, it has the capacitance uh, C2 and uh, voltage V2, right? So now what we do is that, uh, this is case first, right? And in case second, uh, what we do is that uh, we connect those capacitors, right? So what we do is that uh, we connect uh, these uh, capacitors. So from positive to positive, right, and negative to negative. So this is capacitance C1 and then this is capacitance C2. So what will happen? Let's say if this is the higher uh, potential one. So from higher potential one, the charge will flow to the lower potential, right? So let's say this is V1 and V2. V1 is greater. So from here, charge will flow and it will come here. Up until that point where both the charges or both the capacitor have same voltage, right? Because they are connected in parallel, so they will transfer some charges, right? And at, a, at an equilibrium condition, both the charges will have, or both the capacitor will have same voltage. Understood everyone? So this, uh, yes, I understand. So this so will have... If uh, C1 is uh, below, then will it go from lower to higher or will it be the same? Yeah, so uh, the charges are uh, different. Uh, forget about the C1 and C2 capacitance. The charges are different. Yes, Voltage V1 and V2 are different. So someone yes, has... Let's say V1 has higher potential. So we know that from yes, higher potential, the charges flow from uh, to the lower potential, right? Yes, sir. So, so it will have some flow of charges and it will flow until it reaches the same potential, right? So what if from the beginning they have the same charges? From yeah, so, okay, so, uh, initial, so initially let's say they have the same uh, voltage. 
so the charges will not go right because uh, it has already acquired the equilibrium condition yes sir so the charges will not go both they both have the same voltage right okay so finally uh, now can you guys uh, tell me what is uh, let's say this is uh, q1 charge right this is initial so what is q1 charge from here uh, cv cv so this is the one and uh, from here what is the q2 initial charge c2v c2v right and in here what is the q1 initial uh, final so c1v1 by c2v2 no 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 so in here in here only on this uh, one um, so uh, c1v1 yeah c1v right and in here, what is the Q2 selected item? C2. Yes. So Q2 pi. Okay. So this is C2. Now, uh, in our first chapter, what is the basic property of the charges that we have got? The first thing that we learned was the quantization of charges, right? Charges having yes, serial multiple. Second thing we learned was uh, the addition of charges, right? The total charge is the yes, numerical sum of all the individual charges. And the third, which was the most important property was the conservation of charges, right? Yes. So in a reaction, whatever the initial charge was, it will remain or it will be transferred, but the final charge would be the same, right? Right? Yes. So, from the conservation of charge, right? So, from conservation of charge, uh, what we can write? We can write that Q initial, right? This would be equal to Q prime. Correct? Yes. So Q initial is uh, C1 V1 plus uh, C2 V2 and Q final is uh, C1 V plus uh, C2. Okay. So the ultimate uh, thing is that we have to calculate that when the flow of charges will stop. So when they will acquire the equilibrium condition, right? So we have to find out what is this P. So let us calculate that. Uh, this is uh, C2, V2, and uh, this is V is common, then C1 plus C2. So V would be, V would be C1, V1 plus uh, C2, V2, divided by C1 plus C2. So this would be the potential at which they will acquire the same uh, They will uh, stop uh, transferring the charges. Understood? So here we can take a C1 and C2 common. C1 and C2, where is the common? So like, can we take a C1, uh, C1 and C2 like on the same side? Okay, so if you take a C1 common, so then this would be V1 plus C2 by C1. Oh, no, so like if we take a C1 and C2 like common. C1 and uh, C2 common. Uh, how? So you have two terms. Yes. So oh, we can only take one term common. So you are saying that I can take a C1 plus C2 common. Oh, yes, I like that. So uh, do I have something like C1? plus uh, C2, V1 plus C1 plus C2, V2. Then I can take uh, this form, right? But both these uh, terms uh, don't have, because this is a plus sign and both these are multiplied. So let's say yes. if you have a uh, two into, let's say three plus uh, four, or this would be common. Let's say uh, five into seven. So can you take two plus five common? 
you cannot take right yes sir so that is why we cannot take c1 plus okay so this is uh, the voltage but uh, what about uh, heat dissipated right because uh, there is no external battery is connected so heat dissipated would be the change in the energy storing capacity so initially they were storing some energy right but now when they are connected so now they have different energy storing capacity so the change in energy stored uh, would be the heat dissipated right because some amount of uh, heat is or some amount of energy has been wasted and that uh, wasted has been uh, in the form of in the form of heat dissipated so we want to calculate how much is the heat uh, dissipated right so heat dissipated would be heat uh, dissipated this would be change in uh, potential or uh, change in energy storing capacity right so u initial minus u final understood uh, everyone okay so what is uh, u initial can you guys uh, tell me so in here this is the initial condition so in here uh, what is okay so i am saying that uh, i am saying that heat is uh, dissipated because there is no external battery is connected right so there is no work has been done in, in the case of this one only there is uh, some uh, there is some change in energy storing capacity so you guys will see that there is some change in energy storing capacity so you can see that in here in here it uh, this this capacitor had uh, the energy stored which would be how much so how much uh, this capacitor can store energy what is uh, energy stored uh, half c square half c square so this can store up to half c1 v1 square right but in here yes, you in here uh, what you can see in here you can see that uh, in here in here you can see that u uh, final one this has become how much half c1 v square right understood yes understood so you see that some energy storing capacity has been decreased or increased depending upon the value of right so where does this energy go this goes or they say is wasted in the form of the heat dissipated so that is why chavez i wrote that uh, heat dissipated is u initial minus u final understood uh, chavez yes uh, chavez understood Yeah, so I cannot. Uh, you maybe your mic is uh, not working. Okay, so this was a U one, right? Now let, yeah. So now tell me what is U uh, two initial? What is that? Uh, half C two V T two square. Yes, absolutely. Right. So this is uh, this is. and uh, and uh, yes sir yes sir shabir so in case of this c2 u2 final would be half c2 v square right uh, right so so let me write it here that u final is half c1 v square and uh, plus half uh, c2 v square so this is final energy and then you have this uh, in this uh, case you have 
new initial which is half c1 uh, v1 square plus half c2 v2 square. This is the total energy scope, right, uh, everyone? Okay, so now let us calculate. Okay, so when you are, you are about to sneeze and then uh, you can't, so this is very annoying. Oh, okay, so where was I? Yeah, so U initial was half uh, C1 V1 square plus half C2 V2 square. And uh, this is minus of half C1 V square minus, uh, well, let me write it as half uh, C2 V square. Okay. So this is uh, half uh, C1 uh, V1 square plus half C2 V2 square. And if I take minus half uh, V square common, so this would be C1 plus V2. Right, everyone? <laughs> Right, uh, guys. Yes, guys. Understood? Understand. Okay. So, uh, what do you know? Uh, you only know that uh, what is uh, C1, V1, C2, V2. You only this much, right? You don't know this uh, piece. So we have to write our information in terms of, uh, just in case up here, we wrote our information in C1, V1, C2, V2, right? Because uh, initially you had uh, this information, C1, V1, C2, V2. So similarly, we have to write heat dissipated in form of C1, V1, C2, V2, not in form of V. So we have to remove this V, right? So, uh, we already know that uh, how much is this V? So, V is uh, C1 uh, V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. Right, uh, guys? So, we can put the value in here. So, this is half uh, C1 V1 square plus half C2 V2 square minus half and uh, C1 and uh, V1 plus uh, C2 V2 whole square divided by C1 plus C2 whole square. And then C1 plus C2. Right, everyone? Clear? Yes, sir. So this is uh, cancelled. And uh, we have to solve this one. So let us solve this and uh, get what uh, we get. So let's take half common from all uh, the terms. So this is C1 V1 square plus uh, C2 V2 square minus of uh, C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole square divided by C1 plus uh, C2, right? So now we have to solve this, uh, these three terms, so we have to take the LCM, right? So let us take the LCM and see what uh, we will get. This is half and uh, this is uh, C1 plus C2, which is LCM. So this is multiplied by C1, V1 square, this is multiplied by C1 plus C2. And then we have uh, this C2 V2 square, this is multiplied by C1 plus C2. Okay, and then minus of uh, this whole square. So whole square is uh, how much? C1 uh, V1 square, well, let me write it as uh, this, uh, plus this is uh, C2 square V2 square plus 2 C1 V1 C2 V2. Right, so this is a very lengthy calculation. 
So first we multiply this. So this is C1 square V1 square. And then this is uh, C2 V1 square. Right. And uh, okay, C1. Uh, so this is C1 C2 V1 square. And then what do we have? We have uh, C2 C1 V2 square. And then C2 square V2 square. And then we have C1 square V1 square minus C2 square V2 square minus of 2 C1 uh, C2 V1 C2. Okay. So, so can are you using uh, A square plus B square equal to two, uh, minus 2 AP formula? Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, A plus B whole square. So A square plus B square plus 2 AP, right? And uh, the other thing I'm doing is that I'm simplifying this one. So C1 V square multiplied by c1 so this is c1 v1 square multiplied by c2 so this term again c2 v2 square multiplied by c1 so this one and c2 v2 square multiplied by c2 so c2 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 square v2 square right and then i just uh, remove this bracket so minus will be there understood yes sir. okay so what is uh, the term which is cancelling What is uh, cancelling, guys? C1. Yes, C1. I don't think you can cancel. So C1 square V1 square yeah, minus so C1 square V1 square. Yes, you can cancel. So this C2. gets cancelled. Yeah, yeah, C2. So C1, C2. Mm. So C2 yeah. square V2 square. Yeah, so C2 square V2 square. V2 square. This cancels, right? Okay, so now we have only three terms. So this was a very lengthy calculation, but uh, if I wrote, uh, if I write the answer, so then it would be difficult to understand. That way, did you get that result? So we have these three terms: C1, C2, V1 square plus uh, what is that? C1, C2, V2 square and uh, minus of uh, c1 c2 and uh, v1 v2 so now you can take a common what is common in these three terms uh, c1 c2 absolutely v1 v2 no no v1 v2 is not common so we have so v1 in here right v1 we don't have v1 in here right yes sir so only c1 c2 so this is uh, v1 square plus v2 square minus 2 v1 v2 divided by c1 plus c2. So what is uh, this, everyone? What is this? v1 square plus v2 square minus 2 v1 v2. What is uh, this? v square plus... Uh... So, v1 plus v2 the whole square. You have minus, so minus, right? Yeah, minus. So, c1, c2 divided by c1 plus c2, and then v1 minus v2 whole square. So, this is the heat dissipated, right? So, yes. this is uh, the heat dissipated when you share the capacitor. So, c1, c2. Right, and then V1 minus V2 whole square. So, if you guys have any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, uh, yeah, please note it down from uh, here. Right. So, the same unit will be in Joule, sir. In Joule, what? As I say, the heat dissipated unit will be in Joules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that would be in Joules, right? Uh, whatever, depending upon the units of uh, these uh, voltages, right? Yes. voltages and these uh, capacitors so if that is in arc so that the this would be arc right and if it is joule so that would be depending upon the units of uh, the capacitance or voltage that you have in your question yeah what did you say uh Shave? so v1 plus v2 square okay but uh, yeah so this is a square plus B square minus 2AB. Right? So we have minus. So A square plus, so that would be 
oh yeah so yes so please you guys uh, note it down and uh, then we will do another type of so in your cpsc class uh, in your cpsc class uh, what is amna ma'am doing ac yes okay so and we are still in second chapter because you see first second third fourth these are the uh very big very big chapters in your uh, physics uh, part so whenever your first four is com uh, completed so 60 i guess 60 percent of your syllabus is complete because these are the biggest chapters so we have completed one and then we have reached the sharing of capacitor so and then we'll do the combination of capacitor then this chapter would be over so my next topic would be uh, combination of capacitors we will do some questions and then uh, we'll move on to the current and electricity yeah whenever you guys want me to scroll down the screen you guys uh, please tell Yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me so that I can uh, scroll it down, right? So can you show the heading? Yeah, so. So can you show the heading of the first one? Oh, heading. So yes, this sir. is a sharing of uh, capacitors, right? Oh, so this is uh, this is so in first case they are uh, disconnected uh, those two capacitors are not connected but when we connect those uh, capacitors then what happens with the overall voltage and what happens with the heat dissipation right Whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell.
Yes, guys, uh, note it. So one minute. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so Okay, done. So, Tarif noted? Yes, sir. No. Okay, so please uh, note down this one.
So Shavez has uh, written. What about you, Tarif? So again, scroll a bit. Up. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So whenever you guys have completed, uh, please tell. Yes, sir. Done. Done. Uh, Chavez noted. Okay, so now uh, the next thing uh, would be that let's say we calculated. Yeah. Okay, so we connected uh, those. We connected those uh, capacitors, right? And uh, we connected them in such a way that positive one was uh, 
connected with positive one right and uh, negative one was uh, connected with a negative one so then we got uh, so this was c1 c2 then we got uh, the voltage v right then we got uh, voltage v which was uh, c1 uh, v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 and we got a uh, heat dissipated which was uh, 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 c1 uh, c2 and uh, v1 min uh, minus v2 whole square right but now uh, what happens is that second uh, case is that we connect we connect the opposite uh, polarity which means that we connect positive one with a negative one right so we connect This is a plus, this is C1, then this is minus, and then we connect it with a negative one. So this is a C2, right? So in that case, uh, your V2 would be negative, right? So if we calculate uh, the potential in this direction, so this is minus of uh, V2, right? So in that way, uh, in that sense, uh, this total voltage would be C1 V1 minus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. And your heat dissipated would uh, increase, right? Because your this term will become positive. So heat will be more dissipated. That is why you parallelly join them, right? Okay. Yeah, so you guys please note it down and then we'll uh, do another question. Okay, so what I'm uh, saying that you, what you do is that uh, you connect the positive, in the previous case, you connected positive one with positive one. And negative one with the negative one, right? <laughs> Finally. And then in the second case, what you do is that you connect positive one with negative one. So this will oppose the uh, transfer of the charges, right? So that is why uh, your total potential would be negative. So this sign will change. So sign of V2 will change and this would be negative. And this V2 is minus of uh, V2, so this minus minus would be positive. So these sign will change. This is what I am saying. Understood, uh, Shavesh? Yes, uh, Shavesh, understood. Yeah, so. Uh, Okay, so you guys please uh, quickly note it down and then we'll do uh, a question which I have given in uh, so many exams. So this question we have done already uh, in your papers, but let us discuss that question. You guys please, uh, so this was sharing of capacitors. Now we will do this sharing of uh, conductors. Whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. Sir, can you scroll up it up? Up? Oh, so 
this part uh, we have noted, right? Is this okay? Yes, sir. So whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. Yes, whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. Oh, who got uh, disconnected? Where did Chavez go? Yeah, Tarif, whenever you have noted it down, please tell me. And if uh, Chavez didn't join, so we will uh, stop this class, right? Uh, yes, sir. Noted. Noted. Okay, so let's wait for Shavez, right? And uh, the other question that I want to do is, uh, so we have two conductors, right? And it has uh, a charge Q1, and uh, it has uh, the radius, this is uh, R1. And we have another uh, conductor which is Q2, and uh, this is R2. And what we do is that we connect uh, in this. This is the initial series, right? And then what we do is that we connect uh, these uh, two conductors. This has. Uh, R1 and this has uh, Q1 and this has uh, R2 and then this has Q2. So what will happen that there will be some uh, transfer of charges, right? And uh, and uh, their potential would become uh, equal, right? So I want to uh, calculate that what would be the ratio of the charge, right? And uh, the second question is that what is the ratio of the electric This is the question. Uh, this you have already done. And other thing is also what is the uh, ratio of sigma? Sigma 2 by sigma. So these are the three questions. Let us wait for Chavez to come and uh, then uh, we'll start this uh, question. Okay. Okay, sir. Or if uh, he is not joining, then we'll end the class, right? Because I don't want to go ahead. Okay, so. Okay. 
Yeah, so let's wait for two minutes more and then if the, he is not joining, then uh, what we do? So let's wait for two minutes or one minute. Okay, so this has a potential V1, V2, and this remains the same. And uh, this potential becomes uh, hmm, So he's not uh, joining. Okay, wait a moment. Uh, Okay, so we'll stop it here, right? Because uh, he's not joining, so we'll stop it here and uh, we'll do this question in the next class. Okay, Tari. Yes, sir. And uh, when is your exam? Uh, sir, for physics. Yeah, physics, physics. Uh, I know only the day, but I'm not sure of the date. One minute, I just it right now. I have it. Oh, okay. But you st have you started revising all the chapters? Oh, yes, sir. I have uh, been revising the vacation and uh, I'm still revising. Yeah, you are revising what? Sir, uh, the, uh, the previous chapter. The previous chapter? Yes, sir. The electric charges and fields first? First, I have revised that during the vacation. So I'm revising uh, magnetic, uh, magnetism and metal. Oh. Uh, the moving charges. Oh, moving charges and magnetism. Yeah, so that will that is the fourth chapter, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Oh, so whenever you have completed first four, then it's all uh, good. So yeah, major portion is complete. First four are the biggest one, right? Yes. So okay, Chavez. Uh, see you in uh, next class, right? I love sir, can you still the date? Date. Date. What date? Uh, my exam for physics. Oh, so when is that? When is that? On one side, slowly. I said it's on Monday. Ninth. Ninth of October. Ninth of October, yeah. So you have uh, approximately one month. So yeah. Good time that you have revised because uh, because you have chemistry, you have this physics, and uh, you have uh, what biology. No, sir, Mike. You don't have biology. Yes, 